So exercise number one. In this exercise, I want you to bring two papers and two pens. Now, the question arises when you can only write with one hand, why two pens? Well, it's because I'm sure that you know the right hemisphere of your brain controls the left side and the left side of the brain controls the right side of the body. And that's wherein we want to use both the hands simultaneously on the piece of paper. For example, with the left hand, you can draw a circle and with the right hand, draw a triangle. I'm sure you tried it well. Now exercise number two. You need to try to look at the text which is on the screen with various colors. However, the text may read something else. The color may differ from that. Now you need to identify the color of the text and not read the text itself. Example, the letters may say red, R-E-D, but the color of the text may be yellow. In that case, you need to read yellow, all right? And you need to understand that one part of your brain is forcing you to read the text. The other part of the brain is going to force you to read the color. And that's wherein you will be forced to use both the sides of your brain. Give it a try. And also, once you complete one cycle of this exercise, you need to do it in reverse order as well. In the third exercise, I want you to make a peace sign with one hand and an OK sign with the other hand. And after that, I want you to quickly switch from one hand to another hand without failing. And you need to do this simultaneously. And this has to be done without mistake consecutively as fast as possible. Give it a try and I'll meet you after this exercise. After giving a warm up to your brain, let me introduce you to Portable Memory Bank. Well, in 1920, Catherine Cox did a study on 300 genius, which included people like Isaac Newton, to Albert Einstein, to Michael Faraday, and various other people of diverse fields. That these all people were found of scribbling the ideas throughout the day. And that's wherein Thomas Edison wrote 3 million pages of notes by the time he died in 1931. And if you make a pile of these paper, it will come out to be 900 meter tall. Well, coming to the another example, Albert Einstein 
uh, used to be found writing all the time, even if he was boating with his friends. Not only that, Stephen Hawkins himself, though he cannot move his hands or cannot speak, he has continuously assistant walking along with him all the time and taking notes of what he thinks. And if I take example of Michael Faraday, he had numerous pages of notes filled out with theory. Almost every one of these genius were engaged in writing something or the other. Now the question arises, does doodling, writing or scribbling leads to genius or genius do have the tendency of writing, scribbling or doing something on the notebooks? Well, the conclusion is very simple that somehow writing or scribbling all the times helps you to retain the things which you write for seven times more than what you read or speak. Number two, it gives you acknowledgement of all the thoughts which you have come across since morning. And someone wants to write an autobiography and uh, that's where in your portable memory bank will help, isn't it? And on top of that, the researcher says people who scribble a lot are tend to have more ideas coming up in their head. So the three exercises which are takeaway for you to home will be this. So the number one exercise is you're going to switch your hands tomorrow for any kind of daily routines you have. For example, brushing your teeth with the right hand in the usual. From tomorrow, you will try with the left hand and rubbing the soap on the body while taking a bath with the right hand, use your left hand rather. But I would suggest you not to drive two-wheeler with uh, opposite hands. It will be quite risky. Let's go with the second uh, exercise. In this exercise, I want you to close your eyes in certain activities which probably you can do with the closed eyes. For example, taking shower or maybe while chewing the food, enjoy the food, closed eyes, I'm sure you will love it. Try. Exercise number three, any video which you love to watch or any movie which you love to watch, turn on the video but turn off the audio. Turn off the audio and try to look at the picture and just do a lip reading. Try that, that will also stimulate certain parts of your brain which are usually not used. Try these exercises, I will meet you the next time.